The Ferrari 412 T2 was a Formula 1 car that competed in the 1995 Formula 1 season, sporting the all-beloved 312 engine, this year being reduced from 3.5 to 3.0 liter, but still sounded amazing. <coughs> While also having better side structures around the cockpit because of renewed safety measures since Senna's fatal crash in 94. Unfortunately, the 412 T2 was the last Formula 1 car powered by the V12 engine, as well as the last Formula 1 car to win a race using one. Also being the last year for the Ferrari team to run with AG fuel. And today, we have the Ferrari 412 T2 in 118 scale. But before we begin today's video, I first want to introduce you to our sponsor, GPWorld.nl. As you may know by now, GP World is a store located in the Netherlands and they have one of the largest collection of GP replicas cars from stock. Don't live in the Netherlands? Don't worry, they also ship worldwide. So, if you're interested in these vintage Formula 1 cars from the GP replicas brand, make sure you get them at gpworld.nl. So thank you, GP World, for sponsoring today's video, and let's get straight into the review of this beautiful model car. Welcome everybody, today we are going to review the Ferrari 412T2, but you probably heard it all in the intro before this. So let's get straight into the box, just a nice little blacked out box with the right down corner, we have the GP Replicas logo, let's get to open it shall we? We also got some decals, ooh I wasn't prepared for decals, so this video we have to do it without them, but anyways you get the Marlboro decal, and there we go. The beautiful Ferrari red car. And it's actually pretty interesting to see the Ferraris with the gold rims. I've never seen that before. One thing that springs to mind immediately is it looks very much obviously like the Benetton B195 uh, because it's from the same year as well. And this is incredibly tight on there. Look at that. Almost vacuum sealed. All right. Nice little display case. We're gonna put it off to the side for now. All right, let's do what we always do and work from the front wing to the back, shall we? Front wing, we have this very nice carbon fiber pattern. We have a couple of different logos on there. We have Egypt, would be the last year. This sponsor would be on here. And we have Goodyear. On the side of the wing end plate, we have Telecom Italia and Stet Company. Pretty nice to see those different winglets uh, behind the different uh, slots. Looking really nice. The nose of the car kind of reminds me of the McLaren MP4-8 with the very long poop down. Uh, and all the way at the front we have obviously the Ferrari logo, above that the Italian flag, uh, above that Fiat, Magneti, Marelli, race number 28 and above that Egypt once again. And what's actually new here which we haven't seen before is we have a kind of barge board section in between suspension bits which is uh, interesting to say the least. So the suspension bar is looking pretty cool, very nice touch of silver when it meets the body looking really cool. So the rims of this car are looking pretty stellar, we have those gold type of rims. What fits perfectly with that gold tire is basically the yellow stances of Goodyear Eagle looking really nice. So the, basically the side of the driver's cell is pretty long and exposed. We do have a kind of barge board section going on here with some different flaps and different bars to hold them together. Uh, we have basically have huge entrances on the side pods looking really interesting. I believe for 95 they had to have a cockpit which extended all the way to the shoulders instead of uh, having exposed shoulders because of Senna's crash in uh, Imola. We do have this nice velvet material looking really nice. Some nice red seat belts going along with that too. Steering wheel looking pretty nice. The air scoop of this car looking pretty stellar, pretty high. I really like this type of style. We have the Fiat logo there too, and we have the name of Gerhard Berger. Side of the side pods, we have some more different logos. We have Pioneer, we have Egypt, Magneti Marelli once again, Aroxons, Brembo, SKF, and BBS. So this is where the th this is where the car gets a little bit crazy. We see two different NECA ducts at the rear here, looking really nice, nicely integrated into the body. And what 95 was basically known for is this huge, crazy um, airflow design at the uh, at the back of the car. The rear wing actually has six different panels, which is looking very interesting. Luckily, all of them are slotted. We do have a Ferrari logo on there. On the outside of the wing end plates, we have Egypt, Goodyear, and 28 once again. So yeah, that's basically the Ferrari car, looking really nice. Comes on a nice little leather base plate, looking really nice, feels really good too. Also comes with a plaque which reads 412T2, number 28, Gerhard Burger, limited edition, 500 pieces, made by GP Replicas, obviously. So yeah, really nice looking car. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't really prepared, but that's my fault uh, for decals, because I thought, um, some whatever reason, this car wouldn't have Marlboro decals, but anyway, that's my bad. The last time, a V12 was in a Formula 1 car, unfortunately. So yeah, uh, it also had one race win, and it was of Jean Alesi, which was also his last and only race win in Formula 1. Uh, and it was 
Services in Canada, in Vancouver, yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. Maybe consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel. I have some really interesting content coming up. So yeah, for now, I want to thank you very much for watching this video and I can't wait to see you in the next one as well.